What's up, Bay Daggers? Today we're talking about brine pools because they're kind of scary but also kind of sort of pretty cool. This is actually one that I've been wanting to do since September, but I'm a lazy fuck who puts way too much shit on my plate at once and I get way too overwhelmed. But I am getting around to it now. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So what's the deal with these desolate ass brine pools, huh? They're actually a concentrated volume of brine collected in a seafloor depression, which in English, it just means it's like salt water times 10. Uh, these pools are completely devoid of oxygen, meaning that on top of everything else, complex multicellular creatures are going to fucking die in here. However, Extremophile organisms can eke out an existence in this puddle of pain. These lakes can vary in size, ranging from the size of a bad puddle to around 20 clicks or 12 miles long. I should probably mention what's going on with this dumbass ELA. Eh? This absolute baboon has come to the Brian Lake in search of food, and in its own buffoonery, decided to actually go into the fucking brine lake which resulted in it being sent into toxic shock <laughs> it will either rise above and make it out alive and everything will be all peachy or it will eat shit and fall victim to the absolute seductress that is salty as salt water I, and to be clear this doesn't just apply to this eel it's called a cutthroat eel it applies to anything that has more than one cell to it. Right here, you can see this big ass crab, this gargantuan crab, went in probably looking for some food and probably saw something die in the brine lake and was like, oh shit, a free meal down in the abyssal zone. Let me go get it in an eight shit itself. And another fun fact for you, so you really understand the intensity of the brine lakes it is completely dark down here the only reason that you're able to see what you're seeing right now is because of the floodlights on the submarine they would not be seeing jack shit otherwise so you can imagine being this dumbass eel who comes into a brine pool looking for food and then only to be met with constant seizures and toxicity all in the dark and you have to struggle out of it of course it's natural they've been in the dark their whole lives but it's still a little scary you know 